I'll proudly fly this thin blue line flag behind me just to piss you off. The Fuka. Oh shit. Guys, looks like we're gonna have to take another look into fucking Chili De Castro. Because now he's making claims that cops all over America are letting inmates die in deplorable conditions in jails. And he's getting his information from the World Socialist website. Let's debunk his ass this video. I wanted to start right here at the nine second mark where you can see the actual website where Chili's getting his information from. If you look right here, it says World Socialist Website, WSWS.org. This is where he's getting his information from, and we're going to take a deep dive into this website in just a minute after we listen to Chile go through this article. So hold on one second while I rewind. And we start the video. You back the blue until it happened to you or your cousin or your neighbor or your best friend or your lover. This is what's going on in all the jails across America from Georgia to Indiana. Inmates left dead by jailers to die in deplorable, inhumane conditions. This week, two horrendous cases of inmates dying inside American jails have shocked and horrified millions of people. In Georgia last September... Okay, I'm going to pause it right there. This week, two horrendous cases of inmates dying inside American jails have shocked and horrified millions of people. That's only two cases. That's nowhere near what they're trying to make this out to be. You've got to read between the lines, Chili, for fuck's sake, dude. We're only 29 seconds into your video and you're already falling for a bullshit story that makes it sound like hundreds if not thousands of inmates are dying from Georgia to Indiana. And just in the first sentence of the damn article, this week two horrendous cases of inmates dying inside American jails have shocked and horrified millions of people. And in the paragraph after that, in Georgia last September, a man was found dead in his cell, his body riddled with sores, after his lawyer said he was eaten alive by bed bugs while incarcerated. In Indiana, a man suffering from schizophrenia died of dehydration and manipulation and malnutrition in 2021 after spending 20 straight days in solitary confinement while suffering severe psychosis, according to a family lawyer. We're only seeing two cases, not near what Chile's making this out to be and not near what this damn website's making it out to be. So Chile, dude, here you go again, putting out misinformation. September, a man was found dead in his cell, his body riddled with sores, and his lawyer said he was eaten alive by bed bugs while incarcerated. In Indiana, a man suffering from schizophrenia died of dehydration and malnutrition in 2021 after spending 20 straight days in solitary confinement while suffering from severe psychosis, according to a family lawyer. The terrible and inhumane circumstances 
that preceded the deaths of two men, both of who were clearly in need of medical attention for weeks, yet ignored, have further exposed the deplorable and unhygienic conditions inmates throughout the U.S. population industrial complex are forced to endure. In both... Chili, you didn't say that right. It's throughout the U.S. prison industrial complex are forced to endure. Not population, dumbass. There's no extra P in there. There's a P-R-I-S-O-N. Um, and that's only two cases showing deplorable conditions. And I've had enough of this article. So we're going to now go into the actual website itself and who created this website, who's running this website, and why is it called the World Socialist Website? And website for them is not one word, it's two separate words, web and site. Okay guys, so here we are. This is the about page of WSWS.org. About the World Socialist website, the WSWS is the online publication of the world Trotskyist movement, the International Committee of the Fourth International and its affiliated sections in the socialist equality parties around the world. It launched publication in February 1998 and has been publishing continuously for the past 25 years. So we see it's a socialist website. It's promoting socialism. Now, the International Committee of the Fourth International the World Socialist website is published by the International Committee of the Fourth International, the World Party of Socialist Revolution, founded by Leon Trotsky. Its aim is to unite the international working class on the basis of a socialist and internationalist program to put an end to the capitalist system and establish socialism on a world scale. That's what you're fucking supporting, Chili, by believing this bullshit. You're supporting socialism. Which hasn't worked out well for any country that has used socialism. Now, if we click on Leon Trotsky here, it brings us to this. Leon Trotsky. 1879 to 1940 was alongside Vladimir Lenin, the greatest revolutionary leader of the 20th century. Trotsky and Lenin led the Bolshevik party and the Russian working class in the 1917 October Revolution, which established the first worker state in human history. In 1923, Trotsky founded the left opposition to oppose the growth of an nationalist bureaucracy headed by Joseph Stalin as it usurped power in the Soviet Union. In 1933, following the coming of power of the Nazis in Germany, facilitated by the disastrous policies of the Comintern that Trotsky had opposed, Trotsky called for the founding of the Fourth International to carry forward the fight for Marxism against the Stalinist degeneration of the Soviet Union and the Third International. This is what you're supporting, Chile. So are you trying to tell us you actually are a socialist? Like your hated enemy, James Freeman? 
chili. Really? You're a fucking moron, dude.